is a challenge because to on a theoretical platform, and the second wave also has this issue. Home uh, mask rationale is based on the fact that if such an aggressive uh, variant is there, it is so infectious. Aggressive in terms of infection, not in terms of severity, we'll get to that. And uh, if there's so much of asymptomatic carriage, as I'm speaking now, I've kept the room empty so that no one's around with me. Then um, how am I going to protect my family members because all of us are going somewhere or the other, work, meeting people, meetings, school to till uh, some time ago and so on. There is no right answer. The perfect answer is we have to protect each other by masks and so on. But probably when you live in a household, that's not easy. Practical tips, if there is any household help is coming, maids, drivers, uh, cleaners, the like, those people should be double masked and so should you be masked in your around them. Whatever areas they go to, they should have a mask so they don't keep this, this aerosol over there in case they have asymptomatic infection and that's very careful. As a corollary, in case they're symptomatic, whenever you can engage people from the outside, please ask them this question. If you have any symptoms of upper respiratory infection, defer the task if it is possible. The same thing goes to each one of us. That if we go out and we, have, we suddenly start getting symptoms, including headache, body ache, loss of taste, smell, and all those things, that means it is the inception, the beginning. And then we have to take precautions uh, and protect our family members and the people who come to our house and the rest of the people in our ecosystem. Your ecosystem is all these areas, your work, your friends, your family, your extended family, and the people who come to work for you and the people you go to work for. All of them have to be protected. Practically, double masking because it's cheap, it's, it's, it's uh, possible, and it is not something which is you have to buy again and again. Two cloth mask would be the least one would recommend, and then you can go up from there. So, this in a general gives you the construct. The concern is that the day I get symptoms, already I may have, have, have put enough of uh, uh, exposure risk to the family of my ecosystem. So, it's quite possible they are at a higher risk to do it. We can't avoid that at this time. It's impossible right now because the virus turns to be infectious, tends to be infectious minus or minus two days even before I get symptoms. So that part is unavoidable and that's why I started my session by saying some part is unavoidable, some part is reasonable and some part one has to be very cautious about. So knowledge and a high degree of awareness and the willingness to go through this for the next few weeks and the long term in some measure or the other depending on the information we get on these variants currently is the writing on the cards.